Go. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Bubble Wrap. I have joining me today, Pastor Ryan Snow with The Vineyard. Hey there, Ryan. How are you? I'm doing great, Kristen. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I first want to say thank you so much for um, just allowing us to come to the Vineyard and host Live to Lead there. I was um, in awe that the first time I said, hey, I really like your facility, can we? And you were like, absolutely. Like you didn't even hesitate. So thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We're super glad to have you guys and host this event. Excellent. So let's start first of all with tell people a little bit about yourself and the Vineyard Church. Yeah, so I came on staff here at the Vineyard um, going on about, uh, I guess, a little over five months now, and we started. It's, it's, it's been great being here. Um, my wife and I have been part of the Vineyard movement for a long time, and just a really good fit for us. We're from Cincinnati, so it's good to uh, you know be able to stay home, and this church has been a wonderful place for us. Uh, the Florence Vineyard is a Vineyard legacy church, uh, meaning it was planted out of the founders of the vineyard movement, Ken Gullickson and John Wimber, it was planted out of their um, out of their home group years ago. So uh, this church was planted in 1986, very long started, and a few locations later, we are where we are in the edge of Florence and Burlington, and uh, just uh, really been wonderful uh, being the third pastor there. Well, the building itself is perfect for our event. It's a good fit. It's it's a nice nice safe space where we can have social distancing for people who want to do that and it's just an amazing atmosphere and I think it's going to be one where like we align with the vineyard in that this uh, live to lead global local movement is all about personal development and growth and so is the vineyard right yeah absolutely yeah I mean one of our key staples especially since I've uh, come on board uh, uh, I like is discipleship and really like discipleship is a couple tenants is First, it's a process of becoming like Jesus. So it's our lives personally emulating, you know, his character and, and his competency. And so I think like this leadership development that I know that John Maxwell, just it, a lot of it starts with character because you can't give what you don't have. And there's a lot of people that lead. And I mean, Adolf Hitler was an amazing leader, but was a terrible guy. Right. And so it starts, it starts with your character. And if you want to be like Jesus, Jesus, you know, he was he's the son of God. And he took, um, you know, his word and his life and his example very seriously. And so that's one of the staples of our disciple making. Yeah. One of the things that John Maxwell has consistently talked about is the leadership lid. So the leadership lid being, you, you need to know where you are and where the people around you are, because you can only go so far. And the only way to raise your leadership lid is to raise your own development skills and those around you. So you're not like, hitting the top. You want to remove the leadership lid and just continuously grow. So with that being said, I know that as soon as I said this is a John Maxwell event, you were like, I'm all in um, because you're already familiar with him. But you know that we have a dynamic uh, lineup in our simulcast in the morning and then our local leaders in the afternoon. But whom of all of those people are you looking most forward to hearing from? I think I think John and Kristen Getzey. I mean, I've loved getting to know you. Honestly, I'm, I'm not just saying that. Like, I love your heart. I feel like uh, you're you're very open to the Spirit of God, and you want to do the right thing in the right way. I love the uh, fact that like you're local, you're adopting kids, and you know, just I love your heart for the kingdom. And I think John's got a lot of good what he would call uh, developmental. Uh, we would call discipleship, and I think it's just kind of more of a they're the same, they're the same thing. You know, it's, it's uh, like discipleship is people development. It's developing, like I said, the life and character of Jesus in our lives and helping other people live into that. And so that's uh, one of our adages that we say a lot at our church is leaders go first. So we can't give what we don't have. And I know that's some mantra ask sort of stuff that John talks about a lot, maybe not the exact verbiage, but it's things that are very important to him. Like you You, you have to lead like I don't know, really you have to to lead you have to first be led you have to be led by the spirit of God and by the word of God if you're gonna lead the people of God is what I tell our team often and so yeah. I'm excited that I, I think John John just reinforces a lot of that stuff one of the tenants that we have within the John Maxwell team is that um, we are people of value who value people who mm. add value to others and I think that's the bottom mm -hmm. line, like to this event is, is we're going to add value to other people through this amazing one day. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. I'm looking yeah. forward to raising your leadership lid and those around you, as well as all of the people that are attending. So if you haven't already registered people, October the 8th is when it's happening. You can go to live to lead nky.com. You'll be able to see both of us there. I know Ryan's looking super forward to it as well as I am and, and just having people in the building, right? Amen. All right. Yeah, it's just good having people back together. You said social distancing, but it's also nice. I mean, there weren't any conferences or events, you know, for a year, year and a half. And so it, it's it's fun to be able to do some of these things uh, together again and to, and to be able to host it and, and to partner with you. Awesome. We really appreciate you and the Vineyard for just welcoming us with open arms. And I know that this is the first year of many that we're going to have this in Northern yeah. Kentucky. Yeah, amen. Uh, thanks, right. Kirsten. Absolutely. So you guys join us and register soon. Go. Bye -bye.